Hey, Dr. Myers, Dr. Durham. So we're talking about ringworm type stuff. These are fungal infections from outside places. You can pick these up from wrestling. You can pick these up from friends. These can pick this up from just close contacts, basically. Stop my watch there. Um, you can get them anywhere. You can get these fungal infections on the body. You can get them on the scalp. You can get them on the face. You can get them on the hand. You can get them on the feet. You can get them in the toenails. We've done a video about the feet and toenails, which is tinea pedis and onychomycosis, or um, athlete's foot, but specifically on the body. Why on earth would we call this ringworm? It ain't because of a worm. It's because it has this circular, serpentigenous type of a look. Some a long time ago called it ringworm, but technically, this is a fungus. On the face, it'd be called tinea facii. On the scalp, it'd be called tinea uh, capitis. On the hand, it would be called tinea manum. So all of these have different names, but they're all from a dermatophyte, which is a fungal infection that is not normally on the body. Some of these fluoresce under certain, or under UV lights, and some do not fluoresce. Most of these are treated with topical anti-yeast, or topical antifungals, or oral antifungals if they're more severe and deep infections. Most of the time, when someone comes in and says, do I have um, ringworm or uh, tinea corporis, it isn't. It is nummular dermatitis, which is circular eczema. It's certainly less common, than eczema for sure. I, I'd probably say it, it depends where you live, but probably 20 to one, but we do see it enough and certainly identifying it and not using a steroid on it, which would decrease your body's immune system and actually allow it to proliferate and, and actually would make it um, less itchy and less scratchy because you're decreasing the body's defense against it. So in your mind, you're like, it's looking a little bit better, but if it keeps spreading, um, you basically got tinea incognito, which is like hidden uh, fungus. Those for sure you'd have to treat with an oral anti-yeast in addition to topical products. So there's your summary on topical yeast things. It's such an exciting topic, but come into the right place. You can get these treated. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.